He's so happy you got to spend all morning outside. Hello everybody, good afternoon. Spent most of the morning working, but I started to kind of have a hard time focusing. I'm assuming this has something to do with it. <laughs> it was so nice to be able to enjoy my morning slowly, drink my coffee outside, have my doors open this afternoon. Definitely needed that. guys what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is Tori if you guys are new here and I'm currently traveling in this self-converted Ram Promaster and today I'm feeling a little tired of van life to be honest <laughs> someone asked me recently if I ever get tired of van life or living this way and today I'm feeling a little tired of it so I thought this would be the perfect time to answer that question and make a little video with you guys we are currently parked in, at a Walmart in Glenwood Springs. This particular Walmart actually doesn't allow overnight parking. We slept up in the mountains. I've gotta be in Denver tomorrow morning, but honestly, cities just kinda of really stress me out and I don't really wanna sleep in the city. I'm two and a half hours away from Denver, so I don't really have a plan at this point. A lot of the roads and campsites around here are closed this time of year because they're high altitude and the roadways usually are not accessible this time of year, but this is actually the driest Colorado has been at this time of year in a really long time, so there isn't really any snow and there really isn't any ice, so hopefully we can find something. But after looking through iOverlander, I just kind of got discouraged and gave up. I would also like to stop at a truck stop somewhere to take a shower today. I don't usually pay for showers, but it's kind of cold and honestly I'm just washing my hair and showering in the sink just seems like a thing I don't want to do. So I'm just going to bite the bullet and pay the 12 bucks hopefully and take a shower. It'll be the first time I've actually paid for a shower on this trip. A lot of my showers have been in the sink and they're just not quite as refreshing. So we're just going to drive and see what happens today. <laughs> Okay, so I drove about an hour to Vail. You'll have to excuse my hazards there on. It said there was like a travel center here when I looked for like a truck stop shower kind of place. The nearest one is like north an hour of Denver, which is very strange. They're usually quite easy to find. Of course, the day that I find myself wanting and needing one, they are nowhere to be found. So we're either going to drive another two hours. I was just gonna stop and explore Vail, but the parking situation here is kind of gnarly. So I'm uh, reevaluating that decision. <sighs> On days like this one, the one thing that you want most seems to be the most impossible to get. It's so easy to let all the little things that come with this lifestyle pile up, and I often find myself getting really overwhelmed. I decided to pull off the highway at Vail Pass to stop and take a few deep breaths at a rest area after making it out of the city. And it was honestly the best decision I made all day. These moments of stillness are really what gets me through days like this one. Just stopping to take a few moments full of intention and gratitude for these beautiful mountains and how lucky I am to be here. And then I set off on the rest of my drive determined to take a hot shower before I went to bed that night. Did I just drive three hours for the shower? Yes, I did. And it's gonna be the best shower ever. <laughs> All right, this is what $14 actually at this particular loves will get you. But I'm so excited to be clean. 
That may have been the most refreshing shower I've ever taken and probably only because I was completely desperate for it. <sighs> Sometimes it can feel kind of hard to justify spending $14 on a shower like I just did. But on days like today, I've learned throughout my three years of van life, it's honestly kind of just worth it. So back to the topic of do I ever get tired of van life? Clearly the answer is yes, because as you guys saw today, I've just been feeling exhausted and frustrated and it all kind of caught up to me today as it kind of usually does. When I find myself feeling like I was feeling this afternoon, I try and just really sit down and listen to my body. If I have this much pent up frustration or I find myself reacting really strongly to things that really aren't that big of a deal, like maybe going one more day without washing my hair, those kind of things, not being able to find a parking spot. Today I found myself crying at little things like that and those are kind of the days that I know I just need to take a few moments to take the time and sometimes the money to really take care of myself. And I think that is what has made van life so sustainable for us for so many years. When we were first moving into the van, I thought for some crazy reason that I would never want a break from the van, but that's kind of a silly way to look Look at van life when you live in a house you don't spend 365 days a year in your house you often will take a vacation once or twice if you're able to and I try and look at my experience with van life in the same way sometimes switching up your environment is important keeping on top of filling up water propane being sneaky in parking lots driving around all the time trying to find somewhere comfortable to stay for the night to have a shower all of those things very easily can become very overwhelming and I've noticed this happens a lot more to me when I'm already feeling a little bit stressed or overwhelmed for other reasons in my life. This week I've definitely just been feeling really lonely, a little uncomfortable, like I'm not sure where I should be or where I'm at feels just kind of off. I know this topic doesn't get covered a ton in the van life social media space as lovely as it seems to always look online sometimes a break is really important so i just wanted to kind of share this week that i'm taking a break for a few days from the van but i'm still out exploring and making memories and that's okay so if you're living in a van and you ever feel this way please know that it's so normal and it's probably really good to take some time and space outside of your van every now and again. It definitely has made this lifestyle more sustainable for me long term and that's what is important to me. So now that I'm feeling much better and I'm clean, I even put some clean sheets on the bed. That's my absolute favorite going to bed with clean hair after a nice shower with clean sheets. So I'm gonna tuck in for a very restful night's sleep before I continue my Colorado adventure in the morning. Good night, guys. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Estes Park, Colorado. My grandpa is in town traveling with us this week, so we are staying at a little lodge here in Estes Park, and this morning we are headed out on a hike. I am personally one of those crazy people that loves winter, I love the cold weather, and I'm really excited to get up into the mountains. It's also also the off season here so this is the least busy I've ever seen Estes Park. We are hiking the Lily Mountain Trail today and it's actually only 14 minutes from the hotel that we're staying at which is awesome. We've, uh, we've hit a little traffic in town here this morning. Even though this lifestyle can be really overwhelming and lonely sometimes, the experience of living this way, exploring the world with the people that I love most, these are the moments of van life that I cherish the most. This entire week left me feeling so grateful for the people in my life that love me. Enough to fly all the way to Colorado in the middle of winter to spend time with me and help me make the long drive home to Texas for the holidays. Being able to travel with my family like this is such a blessing and I know that these are the memories that will stick with me forever.
We've almost made it up to the top. We're hiking up to 9,735 feet, but we're starting to get some snow flurries. <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Sending out all of my love to you and your loved ones, and a little extra for those alone this holiday season. Thank you all so much for being here. Happy holidays, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday.